You see that little winky icon in my code editor? That's Cody, a new AI coding assistant that I'm gonna check out. Now, I could easily demonstrate how Cody tackles coding challenges, but here's the thing. These assistants use LLMs, or large language models, which are already trained on such challenges. So I think the best approach to use Cody on is my own projects of various sizes, which I have right here. Before we dive in, just a quick heads up, this video is sponsored by Sourcegraph, but here's the catch. They've given me complete freedom to make my own conclusions, and they don't even get to see the video before you do. That's a bold move showing just how confident they are about Cody. But as always, I'm gonna run my own test and see how it truly performs. Now, let's explore what Cody brings to the table. And considering I've been a GitHub Copilot user for over a year now, I'm pretty comfortable with it. I have some high expectations. The first thing I noticed that sets Cody apart is that it has a free tier. Yeah, free forever for individual devs on public and private code. It works in IntelliJ, NeoVim, Emacs coming soon as well as other editors and uh, I'm gonna use it in VS Code because that's where I mostly live. I just installed the extension there and that's how I got that winky face icon in my navbar. By now you probably already know that the bread and butter of coding assistance is writing code and Cody's autocomplete does just that. It could complete lines of code or entire functions for you. But there are two pretty unique features that Copilot doesn't have that Cody does. The first one is a feature that Copilot probably never will have, selecting different LLM models from different vendors. <gasps> I'll show you that in a bit. And the other is custom commands. What are commands? There are different ways that you can actually interact with Cody. Two of the most obvious ones are commands and chat. There is a list of pre-configured commands right at the top where you can do a quick click and get results. This saves a few keystrokes, but I found that I actually prefer to just interact with the chat window. Here I can type anything I want and still be able to use the pre-configured commands too by typing slash and then the command name. Why do you prefer running commands from the chat window, Alex? Well, that's a great question, Alex. This brings me to that unique feature that I talked about. I like this a lot, actually, and I can just imagine the possibilities. Copilot only allows you to use OpenAI's ChatGPT or GPT-4 for obvious reasons. Everything is owned by Microsoft, VS Code, GitHub Copilot, GitHub, <clears throat> OpenAI. Well, not really, but sort of. But Cody allows us to select which LLM to use from different vendors right here in chat. We can use Anthropic's Claude 2.0, 2.1, Claude Instant, whatever that is, never tried that one before, GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 4 Turbo. These are what's available for now, and they do offer different responses, allowing you to pick what you like the most. I mentioned custom commands earlier. This is another unique feature that I found pretty useful. You can create a custom command by clicking custom and then new custom command. Give it a name, tell it what you want it to do, and then here you can select the scope. Like, do you want it to only work on the selection? Do you want it to work on the entire code base? Oh yeah, Cody is aware of the entire code base, not just the file that you're looking at. You have to do an initial indexing first. It took probably about six minutes to do on my largest repository, which is nine mobile apps in one NX mono repo. Once that's turned on an index, Cody can address your entire code base and not just for custom commands, for any commands. Now getting back to custom commands, you can do current directory only, current open tabs. For this one, I'm gonna do selected code. And then you specify where you wanna save that command, either in user settings for all your projects or workspace settings for only this particular project. You trigger the command by going to chat and then just executing it like any other command. Smell? That's a funny one. I didn't know AIs could smell things. Code smell. Oh, code smells. Smell like bad code? <laughs> okay. Identify potentially stinky code. Got it. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm glad that guy's around. Now, is it worth switching from Copilot to Cody? Cody's free tier certainly makes it appealing. I've been using Copilot, but I also don't pay for it since I'm a contributor on open source projects. But if you're not, then Cody is a great option for you, especially with its unique feature set. I will probably keep going with both of them enabled for different use cases, since I really like to be able to select my own LLM. And I like the custom commands feature, which is pretty cool. I do have a short wish list of things to add to Cody that would really make it stand out. Number one thing, local LLM. LLMs are exploding right now. There's so many different options and some really good ones. To be able to run a local LLM and have Cody use that would be awesome. The free tier does have a rate limit, so you will eventually hit that. And I did actually hit that. So you have to wait a little bit and then it'll start working again. An integration with a local LLM would really solve that problem. So that would be really nice. Now they do allow you to use your
your own LLM key, which means if you're using uh, OpenAI's API, for example, and you want to use your own key for that, you can, which will probably eliminate the rate limit. I'm not 100% on that, but I'd really like to see a local LLM. And if you want to know how to set up your own LLM locally, I recently did a video tutorial taking you through the ins and outs of that. Watch that video right over here. Thanks again to Sourcegraph for sponsoring this video, and I will see you all in the next one.